late 1920s, scientists across the globe, including Scottish inventor John Logie Baird, finally developed a technique to send moving pictures through the air. As they said at the time, we have lit a candle that will never go out. That light still burns today, and it is shining ever brighter. And I give her a shaking. Look, look, there she is again. See her? Do you see her? Poor thing. Poor oh. thing. Hello, Radio Olympia. This is direct television from the studios at Alexander Palace. And now you're going to see and hear someone you know well, Miss Helen Mackay. Television. This is the switchboard of Picture Page, a topical magazine introducing visitors, types, and personalities. You're through. You're looking at Pipe Major Massey, the bagpipes man from Trafalgar Square. Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this film is to give a brief survey of the kind of programs which have been and are being transmitted by the BBC Television Service. We want to emphasize that it has been made for demonstration purposes, that is, for manufacturers and viewing rooms only. Get your hands up, I'm gonna shoot you. I will shoot you. And then he does, firing three times. Hands up! Ramirez died on the scene, and later Officer Morrison is caught on another dash cam, breaking down in tears. The new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, said the country is devastated. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. The Queen was last pictured meeting with the Prime Minister on Tuesday and standing on her own, smiling by the fire, cane in hand. Long live the cause of freedom. God save the King. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Do you remember me? Jasmine Black. Well, here we are after lots of nearly seven years ready to start again. And of course, we're always terribly excited and thrilled that the great day that last arrives when this station is once more ready to go on the air. Artists, cameramen, producers, team men, and all sorts of people are here ready to make this afternoon's program. What would you like to hear? Oh. Uh, what do you know for sure? Here is one I have been working on. It is my favorite. Hit it, Harry. Yeah. That's mighty pretty. The Missouri Wall. Say, do you know my favorite tune, Mr. President? Walking round the garden like a teddy bear. One step. Two step, jumping in the air. The tingliness all comes from sodium ricinoleate a substance which both dental research and years of use in dental practice have shown to be good for the gums. So, to keep your teeth white as snow, your gums really healthy, and your breath really fresh, see your dentist regularly and brush with SR, the tingling fresh toothpaste for teeth and gums. 
Gibbs S.R. Well, then, but there has to be a reason why Bob asked Lisa, because this is the first time he's invited her here or anywhere else, as a matter of fact, since they've been divorced. Did you ask him why he invited her? He said something about not wanting her to have Thanksgiving dinner alone. He didn't think it was right. The cameras you see before you are color cameras. They are now transmitting a black and white picture. By pressing this button, which I now do, the cameras are transmitting a live color picture. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of the photos and the film in the 1984 box had disintegrated. But there was better news about the can of film in the 1971 box and the photos as well. And you can see that it was a little bit muddy, but thanks to the hard work of the BBC Telly Cine unit, it's been cleaned up well enough so that we could actually load it into a projector and have a little look. And this is the moment of truth. After 29 years in the ground, will it play? We better get rested for tomorrow, George. They're starting to build that new house down the street. We gotta help them. <laughs> Now, the next thing you've got to do is to get a sign writer in. That thing above the door will have to be changed. It's funny having my name over my own shop. Florrie Lindley, licensed Florence, you mean? Hey. Well, that's your real name, isn't it? Oh, yes, but nobody ever uses it. Come to that, I've got another one, too. That'll have to go up outside, then. Whatever for? Well, it's the law. Florence Lena Lindley. <laughs> Sounds like an imprecation. OK, Spook, what was in that suitcase? Uh, currency-like. Uh, various denominations, like, uh, money. <laughs> like money? <laughs> Wow, it is money. By the law of finders keepers, we are rich men. We got it made. Paradise. Lieutenant O'Neill, where is he? Paradise. And went like that to well, try and get away. Yeah. On the housing estate where he lives, David King is telling police about an altercation he has had with a suspected car thief around the corner from his house. In fact, he stabbed that man in the okay. chest and the police have found him lying in the street. I'm going to be arresting you, OK, on suspicion of grievous bodily harm with intent, OK? So, Do you mind if I go change? Because um, I haven't I'd, got any underpants not at the moment, on the okay, not, not at the minute. I'd like to keep you extra clothes if you need to. But we I've need got to... my house keys here. Can I at least yeah, just give them to my wife? Keep your hands out your pocket. OK. Just... Oh, Mate, listen. Come on. Listen. Mate. After arresting King, Police then right. call at his house, where they find his son, okay. Edward. Uh, do you have a warrant? I don't need a warrant. Why? OK, essentially, an incident has happened. A judge said today that both men were guilty of vigilante behaviour and that they left the house that night with the intention of causing serious harm to this man, Neil Charles. You better get out of here. No, don't you walk away hey, from hey, me, chap. Hey, all right. No, well, stop. Get out of here. You know what? This is all your fault. Charity, stop. Get off. You just leave me alone, Jay, right?
cute. Oh, gee. <laughs> hey, guys, we got guests. So on the double, you two, hop to it. Well, don't say I am warned you. I've laid it on the line to you time and time again. Right, well, this is it. I'm going to give you a damn good trashing. <laughs> And as the countdown to a brand new channel ends, a brand new countdown begins. This countdown is a quiz game that all of you can play at home. And if you're good with figures, or you figure you're good with letters, well, we think this could be the game for you. You ain't worth it, Janine. I've had it with you for good and all. Fine. Then I'll try and do without a child-killing, drunk-driving ex-hooker in my life. You think you've got away with this, don't you? I used to have a pool toy that looked just like that guy on the right. You, ex-husband Gary, my business rival? What are you telling me, Kelly? I'm saying, Brooke Jr. What about Brooke Jr.? He isn't your android. Android. <laughs> Timor, what's going on? What's that odor? Go back to bed, Mother. I've got it under control. Listen, you crumb bums, if you think I'm impressed, I am not. I... <laughs> Oh, brandishing your buttocks is only getting me angrier. I want to see what's going on. No, Mother, don't look out the window. Ah! <laughs> 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 I can tell you what will happen today, tomorrow, and on the next day. For I am the great Angelico, your psycho friend. Chucky, this is dumb. Well, it may not mean much to us, but it still means something to her, you know. I suppose so. Well, let's figure out where she's going to take us. Tokyo 3 Five Star Restaurant Directory. You're going to be coming with us, right, First Child? I don't think so. Why not? I dislike eating meat. It didn't seem like fighting to me. You were just being mean. Yeah, but Muffy has to be mean. She's the villain. What? No, I'm not. Sure you are. But that's the best role. Boo. 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 No. No. Oh, you looked all right before I took Doodles for his walk. Well, I was, but I felt funny after I ate the apple. Oh, I see. What apple, Jake? After the apple? Well, um, apple? Uh, oops, <laughs> it's only one, Max. Oh. There's still lots left for the apple pie. Oh, dear. Oh. Jakey, those are cooking apples. Oh, no! All of a sudden, she starts screaming. Mommy! Mommy! I ran in. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know why? Because she worked at that Looney Tunes Lodge for 15 years, and she kept hearing that song over and over again. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is real. Such passion, such energy. L look at this. Underpants on the elbow. Th the irony. It's so in your face. Such a bold, naked, personal statement. Naked? Oh, grow up! You grow up. Both of you grow up and make a decision by the time I get back or it's zucchini bread with the carrot frosting. Okay, let's look at the big picture. You're a middle-aged guy who married a stupid woman half his age for no other reason than the sex was great. You with me so far? 
Yeah? Good. Then you ran out of money, she got bored and threw you out. What's your point? Why does everything need a point? Why can't I just make fun of you? Now raise your arms as high as you can and say, Blast off! Blast off! Let's get those balloons! Downloading films is stealing. If you do it, you will face the consequences. <laughs> My money! Give! Uh, you said it was mine! That was just a full mum! Hand it over, Toad! I can't! What do you mean? I gave it back! Gave it back? Yes! I gave it to the pet centre! They came to collect it! She... Beat up all of you? Well, what were we supposed to do? We can't hit a girl. Well, I understand. I never hit a girl either. But I will smack the white off a bitch! <laughs> ah! Nobody hurts my man. And let's have it. What? The $40 you two conned out of me with that stupid keyboard crap! I know you still got it. Now give it back. <sighs> now clean up this mess or you're fired! <laughs> I took it all out of the house. <laughs> what? Why? What's the matter with you? Are you comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mother! And you, Wendy! Yes, Mother. <laughs> and you, sweet John, are you feeling sleepy? Hostile. I'll show you hostile if you try to pass this off as something that people are going to dance to. This isn't healthy. Oh, fart. No. No, no, you can't do that. You can't just like, play the victim every time I have an opinion because that doesn't give me space for my input. How am I supposed to move forward if you can't acknowledge my feelings? Men are going to come along and want to teach you things. Doesn't make them any smarter. You just let them blow by, and you go on ahead and do just what and how you feel like. Meanwhile, back in Fairyland, poor Cinderella. Hey, boy, get out of it. You can't go around taking other people's roles. Oh, I see. But it was fine when you took over from me, was it? Ma'am. Yeah, deal with it. I'm the fairy godmother and I'm the queen. Ladies, ladies, this is a charity pantomime, not a competition to find out who's the best queen on Netflix. And come on, we all know who'd win that one. Checkmate. I did it! I did it! I did it! Angelica! Oops. I didn't do it! I didn't do it! We heard the whole thing, Angelica. So you broke the lamp, young lady. I don't know what to believe. I really care about you. I'm standing here in this exquisite chapel of St. George at Windsor Castle, so close to where my beloved mother, the late Queen, is laid to rest with my dear father. When fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't.